This is a uh, question po uh, posed by Patrick JMT um, as to essentially what the value of this is. Uh, you might know what the day is. So um, I'm going to show you how to find what the value of this thing is. Yeah. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to start off with a series. n equals 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power of n, x to the 2n over 3 to the n. Now, this thing you may re recognize as a uh, geometric series, and I'll, sh I'll show you why. It's this thing is a sum n equals 0 of minus x squared over 3 all to the power of n. Okay, and if you know what the geometric series formula is, you know what how to do, how to solve them. Um, if not, look at other videos. But this thing should be one divided by one plus x squared divided by three. Okay, or this thing is equal to three divided by three plus x squared. Okay. So that's the first fact to remember. So this thing is this thing. Right. So yeah, I don't have enough space on the board to keep that down there. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this original sum and I'm going to find, I'm going to integrate. So uh, you guys pro should know the integral of the sum is the sum of the integrals. So take this thing to the inside, integrate this. This thing is the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n x to the 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1 times 3 to the n. Okay, so now we have, and, and then because, because, because we had this thing was originally equal to, uh, we had it was equal to 3 over 3 plus x squared, well, then the integral of this, i.e. this sum, is also going to be equal to the integral of this. Alright. So... What is the integral of this? 3 over 3 plus x squared square dx. Well, if you remember your, um, your, your antiderivatives of um, your inverse, well, if you know the derivatives of the inverse functions, inverse trig functions, um, you might recognize this. This has the form, if you have dx over a squared plus x squared, this thing can be written as, well, its solution is 1 over a tan inverse of x divided by a. So all we have to do is literally plug in values. So uh, a, I mean, this thing is the same thing as square root of 3 squared. So our a is going to be square root of 3. So the general solution to this, so the solution to this is going to be, um, sorry, uh, it's going to be three multiplied by one over square root of three times inverse tan of x divided by r a, which is radical three. So, um, so from this, we now have the following. We have that the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n, x to the 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1 
times 3 to the n should be equal to 3 divided by square root of 3 tan inverse of x divided by radical 3. Okay. So finally what we're going to do is we're going to take what we originally wrote. So the original sum was this. It was 2 square root of 3 times the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 times 3 to the n, like this. And I'm going to rewrite this as 2 radical 3 sum from infinity n equals 0 minus 1 to the n x, well, sorry, 1 to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 times 3 to the n. Now this was a solution to the original problem evaluated at 1. So this thing should be equal to 2 radical 3 and then we had multiplied by 3 over radical 3 times tan inverse of 1 divided by radical 3. And if you know your angles, this thing is pi over 6. Okay, So I can replace this. This is pi over 6. So what do we have? Well, 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 6. Cancels. Radical 3, radical 3. Cancels. What we're left with? What we're left with is pi. Happy Pi Day.